everybody. I'm Ben. <laughs> and, and I'm Rainy. <laughs> and this is our podcast. Yeah. Today we're here to talk about... Reversed roles. Reversed <laughs> roles for all you hating, less understanding people out there. So just Let's to get give into you it. an example, <laughs> me, Ben, as a man, I go to work. Right, and, I, and as a woman, I cook and I clean the house, I take care of the kids, that's what I do. Except for some reason, people don't like the idea of <laughs> Rainy here staying home and taking care of the kid. I think it's a little harder to get child support that way. That's probably what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I really couldn't imagine why else, you know? Maybe. I She's don't doing know. way better off than we ever have, so I don't understand it anyway. But anyway, <laughs> we're here to talk about reverse roles. So, when somebody sees a man staying at home, the only question is... What do you do for a living? Yeah, <laughs> That's all I ever hear. Are you looking for a job? Like the you only, looking for work? Yeah. Like they really think the only reason the man is staying home is because he lost his job like, or something. Would you ask every stay-at-home mom that? Hey, you looking for work? Yeah, exactly. Yeah? You want to you wanna pick up some days? Yeah, so people <laughs> ask Ben that on the reg. On the reg, too. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you want to work? No. <laughs> All the time, Ben gets asked if he wants to work. Can I bring my kids? <laughs> the answer's always no. It's, it's always no, yeah. How, like, people just don't understand it. How come this line isn't fading away? Anyway. Hey, any hooser. Um, we did tattoos on each other last night. Yes, we did. That's right. Twin flame baby. That's right. She did mine, I did hers. <sighs> yeah, he... We love each other. Uh-huh. We, we already did that with the matching cat on our back. I know. I was thinking that, too. <laughs> you can never have too many, right? You can never have too many. Exactly. This one's, like, more specific, too. MGK song, Twin Flame. You know what no, I mean? No, it has nothing to do with the song. <coughs> yeah, it's the artist. Telling. It's no. the artist. I don't know what it is. She loves it. You got to <laughs> You got to stop telling people that. It's, you know, referencing to the song. Cause it Why? Was, I don't see the... What's what's wrong with that one? I mean... Tell me. The song... Specific. What line? What? What line in that song just is unrelatable for us? I'm just Nothing. trying to... No, okay. it's not about that. Then it's what about do you mean? the fact that we were Twin Flames long before Machine Gun Kelly met fucking Megan Fox. Oh, yeah, no. Twin Flames before Transformer movie came yeah, out. We've yeah, we've been talking about <laughs> being Twin Flames... You know, since we started waking up and realizing Since the shit. first time we met. <laughs> yeah, so it had nothing to do with the song. It's just like, I feel like you reference oh, the song because you don't know how else to explain it. To well, me. I emotionally attach to that song. No, I totally get and that. And I don't know why exactly, but when he performs it, it, it yeah. Well, no, I agree. It's because good. it's very accurate for sure. It's a good song, yeah. But it, the tattoo is not song-based. Mm-hmm. Do they even have matching tattoos? Probably not. Yeah, they have like each other's signature and shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're just uh, the poor version of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever, dude. My man here, she works as hard as she can. Yeah. You know, she pays the bills, dude. Don't fucking hate like that. I pay all the bills. God I slave it. away at my job dealing with asshole customers sometimes. Right. Most of them are really wonderful and I love them. But That's right. There are some people that like... Like once there was a there was a festival like last month actually, and someone told me and my boss that we needed to chill on the energy and cool it on the caffeine because our, our energy level was highly inappropriate. She told me that and my boss, so it's like whatever. Obviously, oh our man, I'd have made a scene. Yeah, but yeah. I just I was so baffled by the fact that that was said to me. So I just uh, honestly had nothing else to say. I was just like, "All right, well let's let's get you this two hundred and twenty dollar ring and get you get out you of here. the fuck out of here, yeah, <laughs> like Jesus." Because you know, you open your mouth, you lose that <laughs> sale. And if it was somebody buying a hat, I would have been like, "Fuck you." Right. She bought a very expensive piece of jewelry. So. Tag me to charge. Yeah. Right. That's what I would have said. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> So Ben cooks dinner a lot of the time. I do. And it's not because it's not because I don't. It's because Ben gets hungry and decides that we're eating right then and there. Ben and is the, the I'm chance. the woman of the fucking house, man. I make those yeah, rules. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't even have a chance. I to, like, get to pick dinner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I took the meat out three, four hours ago. Wow. 
Wow, really? Yeah, I always do. Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. It's in the fridge. Well, yesterday I cooked breakfast, so. Yes, she does before do breakfast. Before anyone I'm not said they were person. hungry, and then everyone ate. And then everyone ate. Yeah, it smelled like sausage and homemade hash browns and pancakes and bagels. Oh, oh so no. good. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good ass breakfast. Thank you. Uh, showdown's about to go down. Showdowns go down. Yeah. With the indie no, and who? No, no. Who is it? Find it out themselves. <laughs> He's always Bravo. Is always picking on her. And then here comes Ben. Do 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 do. I know. No, stop it. I know you're trying to subliminally <laughs> get him away from. Do do. <coughs> so anyway, any hooser. <laughs> um, I do all the man things. Mm -hmm. I pay the bills. Eh, that's not exactly accurate. No, let it go. Let it go. Let nope, me keep nope. going. Let me keep going. I'll clarify. All right, fine. And I do, uh, I go pick up the weed. That's and, true. Yeah. I she go, buys the drugs. Yep. And I go to the bank and I do Yep. She handles all the finances, actually. I don't know when any bills are due. That's no joke. Yeah. And, and Ben cooks and cleans, but he fixes things. So that's good. It's like having your own <laughs> personal handyman. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can, I can fix a car, you know. I'll fix your shit. I'll take your PlayStation apart and not fix it. But I'll take it apart. I'll take it apart like yeah. he's doing and then put it back together and be like, I guess it really doesn't work. It's just broken. <laughs> yeah. No, it's toasted. It's hilarious. Yeah, I just easily cop out on those. <laughs> yeah, that's all right, though. Yeah, yeah. So what were you going to say when I said I do all the man work? Oh, the car. I was just yeah, going to say, okay. no, See? whatever, dude. See? The car, like, that's that's real fucking hard work. you like four Excuse days. Excuse you. You're I four days so under shocks. it. <laughs> Four days under that car. <laughs> it took two. Really? I thought it was three. And all I had to do was I exaggerated one day. And I had to take out the back seat. Oh, you're playing me. <laughs> I got it. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Jack it up one fucking tire at a time. Yeah, and gravel. It was ridiculous. You know, mind you. In a I, fucking trailer I park. I because I feel like it'll look really good. Yeah, she shaded her tattoos last night. It looks I pretty shaded, sick. I shaded a couple ta couple of my first tattoos. Right. Looks sick. Yeah. Just because. Because why waste the ink? Yeah. You know, so I, we were I already, already at it. Out and I was like, hey, babe, throw me a shader. Yup. <laughs> I've been wanting to do it for a minute, so I did. Yup. I think that. that lightning bolt real good. It looks really nice. Thanks. Any hooser. Um. <laughs> the his and her thing, the pink aisle, the blue aisle. Quit the shit, guys. Yeah, we always let Connor look at the pink eye. Oh, yeah, dude. If Connor looked at a Barbie and said, I want that, okay, whatever. Come play with Right? I'd be like, she is pretty hot, son. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> that? No, he's I'm kidding. just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. We don't teach our child to look at women. No, like but that. for real, they had red panda in there. Yeah. From from turning red, well, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like you couldn't have found that unless you went through the pink aisle. Exactly. Stupid as fuck. And, I and mean, he boys, liked it. Boys so. go through puberty too, so it's yeah. not like. No, and Connor, when he was a baby, he had a baby. His yeah, baby doll. You know, he has a baby, baby doll because he wanted to be take you know, care of a baby. There's actually you know? people who like try and get their four-year-old son like, look how hot she. Oh, that's probably oh, a dude, you were with Jason. Huh? Yeah, it's toxic for yeah. sure. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, because that's, no, yeah, that's, that's, like that's how I was raised. Because that's how I was raised. Toxic yeah. masculinity. It's yes. crazy, and now with Connor. <laughs> I'm so happy your favorite color are rainbows. Let's <laughs> yeah, his favorite color is rainbow. Color I remember what Jason said that, and I was like an extreme homophobe. Uh, he said his favorite colors were blue, pink, purple. It wasn't and purple. rainbow for Jason. No, <laughs> yeah. he loved drawing rainbows all the time. Oh. And my uncle, who ruined it for me, yeah. he would comment on it and be like, oh, oh, that's a sign. Oh, no, really? Shit like that, yeah. So oh I, I really resented it. Yeah, I was like, hmm. No rainbows in my fucking house. That's crazy. But anyway, yeah, I'm way past that now. Yeah, no, I'm not homophobic. Yeah. Um, Connor is, loves rainbows, but. Yeah. Yeah. My middle fingers are still painted. Fuck you. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yours look great. <laughs> mine look no, like shit. mine look awful. <laughs> really? They look really Let me bad. See. And oh, I guess up close. Yeah, they're bad. Yeah. And <laughs> see mine, I, they're growing out. I'm going to use a thicker needle next time. And just really... Oh, you're talking about your tattoos? Yeah. I was talking about your fingernails, man. Oh. I'm all, yeah, they're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that. <laughs> First of all... <laughs> I thought you were just being brutally honest. Just brutally like, honest? No, no. Go. Fingers look great. I was That's talking awesome. about your damn nails, man. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> so, uh, 
You know, it also comes down to sex. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get that retention. Retention, retention. Retention, retention. Yes, yeah, sex. Uh, sex is good. See, he's not even doing anything. No, he's growling. No, he's no. He's Look growling. at him. What is he doing? He's, he's turning around and staring her down. So? No, stop it. I'm not doing Let nothing. Let them fight their own battles. So anyway, they I'm just going to stare him down. They say that the man is supposed to initiate everything. I definitely agree with that because I don't know how to do it, but uh -huh. I don't think Ben does either. So we kind of just like... I'm no expert. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just mutually agree a lot of the time, but it's so pushed upon in society, you know, like Fifty Shades of Grey, like the innocent little woman and the man with the toy closet. Or <laughs> the <laughs> toy closet? The <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. But yeah, exactly. There would never be a woman that would just take a man, right? Right, right, exactly. And that's how they... <laughs> that, switch, that switch rolls, though. Because you know what? Here's the thing, though. Uh -huh. Is I know plenty of relationships out there that where the women are bigger than the men. Yeah. So that's got to be how it is in the bedroom, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> can you kind of assume? Or is I mean, that wrong to assume? I don't know. Big girl says, get over here, daddy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's very wrong to assume. It's almost body shaming. That is. I'm sorry, big girls. It's okay. It's always a <laughs> You're all, It's okay. It's always a learning it's a, it's a It's a bone structural thing. I believe in big bones. Yeah. I do. I really do. No, I definitely do, yeah. too. Because there's men that are just fucking giants without yeah. without so any meat on them. They're just huge. And that's just how it goes. But women are, too. And that's just... This, it's, yeah, it is what it is. But, you know, the styles change all the fucking time. You know, back in the 80s, it was bush. What? <laughs> Bushes. Everybody loved bushes on women back in the day. Now, right? Now, Your woman doesn't shave and you're like, ew. <laughs> ridiculous, though. It is. It's absolutely it's crazy. Hair. I shaved my legs, though. Nice. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was just, it just like, it was pulling on my pants when we were walking yesterday. No, I was you know, at the I point where I was talk like, about, I don't want to talk about pubes. I was like, really? fuck that. Retention. So, yeah, people are interested. And I, pubes? People like pubes? I go, you, I, you, I, you know, at the point where I'm shaving like once a month. Yeah, well, you know, you, those out there that have their dad bods and you bend over and then in your belt clip you, you lose a pube when you stand back up and it's like, ow! <laughs> the guys will understand. I was like, I can't relate to <laughs> the that. The guys will understand. It's like a... They'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Battle of the Sexes, you know? Yeah. What an awful game. What an awful game. I've never played it, so I, I actually can't. Tell I'm you just that. kidding. I've, <laughs> I've never even heard of it. Is that a thing? Yeah. Battle of the Sexes? Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's Mr. Unfair Beast did one. It was 100 men versus 100 women. Because women will probably win. Who did win? I think the men actually won. It was like 37 men and 20, 36 women. For what? What was it? They were just last to leave the circle. It was like five, six days in. Oh, okay. Because I watched one for, it. you know, who can win an island. No, not that one. And a girl one. won yeah. that one. So really? It's, yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. I want an island. <laughs> I'll take an island, bro. <laughs> Please, give me an island. For real. Oh, my God. That'd be amazing. I could let my cats wander. Truman Island. What? It'd be the Truman Island. Why? There'd be no cameras. <laughs> I'm, just I'm kidding. so confused. <laughs> I am too. Okay. <laughs> On that note. On that note. I know I'm all looking out the window. So, uh, peace? Peace. <laughs>